Hey, it's Dan Phoenix here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be talking about why a lactose intolerance is a myth and why no one, in fact, actually has a lactose intolerance. And no, I'm not denying that certain people that react to a dairy product due to the lactose contained within it, once they actually start consuming lactose-free dairy products, the negative symptoms start to go away that are induced within them when consuming milk that contains lactose. But, the reality is the lactose is not necessarily the issue. The majority of the milk that people are consuming is pasteurized or heated to ultra high temperatures. And as proven by Dr. Axe and shown in this image he created, once milk starts to get heated above 118 degrees, it starts to denature and destroy enzymes that are found naturally occurring within milk before it's pasteurized. But once you start to heat it up to around 161 degrees, which they do with pasteurized milk, and then up to around 280 degrees with ultra high temperature milk, guess what happens? It starts to destroy a lot of the beneficial or all of the beneficial naturally occurring probiotics, vitamins, amino acids, proteins, naturally occurring compounds such as essential fatty acids, and also things known as enzymes, which raw milk, before it is pasteurized or ultra high temperature treated, it has an enzyme in it called lactase. And what does this enzyme do? It breaks down lactose when you are consuming milk that has lactose within it. So raw milk, for most people, does not cause them issues due to them having a naturally occurring lactase enzyme within the raw milk that they are consuming. So many people that had an issue with lactose in pasteurized milk, once they switch to the raw milk, they're like, oh, I haven't got a lactose intolerance anymore. Well, you never did. You had an intolerance to pasteurized, denatured Frankenstein milk. And now I'm gonna bring up a image that actually lists off all the things that are destroyed when you pasteurize milk. And if you look for raw cow's milk, all the different things that are found naturally occurring within raw milk before it's messed around with is all active. But once you pasteurize or ultra high temperature pasteurized cow milk, the beneficial enzymes become inactive. The diverse probiotics, lactase producing bacteria, and the immunoglobulins actually become destroyed. And then the healthy fats, AA, CLA, DHA, and EPA, and proteins become damaged. And then with the vitamins, they become reduced massively, and then calcium and phosphorus is inhibited. And that is just a few of the different compounds that are in raw milk. What I do is I put a link down below for another chart that has a way more extensive list of all the things that are denatured or inactivated or just destroyed. And just to give you a bit more understanding around this, one of my friends has a so-called lactose intolerance. So when she consumes dairy products, she will get certain negative symptoms induced within her body. And then when that goes on, what does she do? She takes a lactase enzyme supplement that then can break down the lactose that she is reacting to and then boom, the symptoms are gone. But ideally, you just want to be avoiding all dairy products that are pasteurized or ultra high pasteurized temperature treated and consume raw dairy products only. And then you'll actually start to get a lot of health promoting benefits from it. It's gonna be the most nutrient rich that it can possibly be. It's gonna be the most easiest to assimilate as well. And it actually becomes anti-inflammatory, unlike pasteurized milk, which is pro-inflammatory and we have so many people whether they are aware of it or not that have inflammation it is one of the root causes that causes so many different chronic health issues and symptoms short term and long term and there's actually a scientific study done on humans where they actually had test subjects that had inflammation they tested them with a specific test known as a c-reactive protein test which is the gold standard test for testing people for if they have inflammation or not and how little or how much they have. And when they first did the test, they had a lot of inflammation. And then after the test subjects were consuming only raw dairy products, guess what started to happen? Once they got to the end of the study, they tested them again with the C-reactive protein test and their inflammation levels had massively reduced because 
like I said, it has anti-inflammatory benefits when it is in its raw state. And I wanna add another example of someone that I know, my girlfriend, she used to have a so-called lactose intolerance where it would make her get inflammation in the body, it make her sinuses all flare up and it just didn't make her feel good overall. But for the past nine months, she has been consuming an abundance of raw organic grass fed milk and guess what? She doesn't get any negative effects from it whatsoever. And you can just do your research up online of the amount of people that have experienced the same thing once they go from pasteurized dairy products to raw dairy products. And what I wanna say is some people will still react to raw dairy products, but it isn't necessary due to the lactose. What you need to be aware of, and a lot of people do not know this at all, most cows that are used in the dairy industry are massively hybridized. So their milk contains a protein known as A1 beta casein. But if you get so-called heirloom cows, which certain dairy farms out there do have, their cows produce milk that contains an abundance of A2 beta casein. So if you start experimenting with raw dairy products and you're getting negative effects from it, find a supplier that has milk that contains A2 beta casein only and you will most likely find that you get no negative effects from it. And if you cannot find a supplier that has this type of dairy product that comes from cows, the other animals that only produce A2 beta casein are goat, sheep, and camel. So if you can find a dairy producer that is using these animals instead to produce their dairy products, try them out and you find you might get on with that a lot better. And last but not least, before I end the video, what I want to share is my own personal experience. The milk we're consuming now is raw organic grass-fed milk, but we didn't realize that the company we're buying from when we first started buying from them had raw milk because they said that they actually did not. So we was buying the exact same milk that we're consuming now, but pasteurized from them. And first off, it doesn't taste nowhere near as good as the raw milk that they sell. And it's exactly the same milk. Just one of them is pasteurized and one of them is raw. And guess what? We started getting a lot of negative effects from it. I started getting a lot of chronic inflammation throughout my body and it just was not making me feel good in any way shape or form but now for many many months i've been consuming around five gallons of this raw milk yes around five gallons of this raw milk a week if you want to know why then you can click up above where i talk about that in more detail and it is one of the things that i consume on a regular basis that just makes me thrive and makes me have no negative health issues and symptoms and makes me have an abundance of energy and just makes me feel and function to the best of my ability so I can have the best human experience where I'm free of sickness and disease. So that's it from me in this video. Got any questions? Leave them down below. Don't forget to leave your comments down below. Don't forget to give us a like, share some others that you think need to hear about what I've talked to you day in this video and please click that subscribe button down below make sure that you click the bell notification button otherwise you'll not be notified of when new videos are coming and i have new ones coming almost every single day and as always stay happy stay healthy and enjoy the rest of your day peace